Despite Crowcoin being down 26% over the past month as the majority of the altcoin market has pulled back, this altcoin is up 64% over the past year and appears like it may be coming back down to a strong area of support. Now there are two significant milestones that I do want to discuss in today's video. The first one being the Kronos POS chain passing the 10 billion milestone for Crow staked to the network. And Crowcoin is officially set to pass the 100 million burn threshold as the second community burn is currently being voted on. You can expect to hear about all of this as well as an update on the price action in today's episode of the Everything Crypto Show. Now before we hop into the content, just a friendly reminder that I am not a financial advisor. I am simply here for your crypto news and entertainment purposes. And if you do enjoy the content, please consider hitting that sub and like button and turn that notification bell on so you can be notified when all of our latest videos go live on the channel now without further ado we are going to get right into today's content and as i mentioned at the beginning of the video uh, we can see here that crow is down about 26 percent over the past month and the one thing I do want to mention in this regard is the fact that if we take a look at the altcoin bubbles over the past month with a couple of exceptions here, I mean, we can see a lot of these coins are down in a similar uh, a similar sort of you know range, right? Like Render down 34%. Um, we have Doge down 24%, Arbitrum down 27, Inch 21. I mean, it's definitely been a pretty rough month for the altcoin market, while Bitcoin has actually held up relatively well in comparison. And I've been pretty, uh, I've been pretty vocal in previous videos about the fact that I do believe we are approaching the next phase of the cycle where Ethereum should be the outperformer, and then what tends to follow this is alt season. So I kind of just wanted to update you guys on Crow, and and we're gonna take a look at the chart at the end of the video. But I do want to kind of touch upon two major milestones that we have seen with this altcoin. And the first one here is that we've officially passed the 10 billion mark for the amount of Crow delegated to the Kronos POS chain. Now, when it comes to the Kronos POS chain, uh, this is a metric that I tend to look at pretty frequently because this is, you can kind of think of this as the layer zero of the Kronos ecosystem as a whole. Uh, the Kronos chain as the layer one and the upcoming Kronos hyper chain as the layer two. But this is where majority of Crow is actually staked to get yourself a nice seven and a half percent yield if you choose to do so. And, um, you know, then this this staked Crow does kind of make its way onto the Kronos chain through things like uh, like Vano Finance, who offers liquid staking and, and kind of lets you use your Crow there for other purposes. And the main reason I look at this ratio, uh, it really is just because of the way that the Kronos POS chain functions as a whole. And basically, for those of you that don't know, when you stake your Crow to the Kronos POS chain, you are generating that yield. However, if you want to unlock your Crow and sell it or move it around, it is subject to a 28-day unbonding period. So for four weeks, you have to actually wait before you can do anything with this Crow. You are not generating any yield as this, this unbonding period is taking place. And as we have seen over the past month, I mean, a lot can happen in crypto in a month. So the reason I look at this metric really is for the for the fact that I'm a I'm a pretty big believer that if you are a if you're just holding crow to trade it, if you are buying crow and not looking to hold it, but rather looking to trade it, odds are you're probably not staking it on the Kronos POS chain and risking it being you know locked up for that 28 day unbonding period. So I do tend to believe and kind of just go by the notion that any crow staked on chain is more of the long term holder base. And if we take into account that there is a current circulating supply of 26.5 billion, a total supply of 30 billion, that effectively means that over a third of all Kronos circulating is delegated to this chain for that seven and a half percent yield which uh, is definitely kind of like a bullish on-chain metric in term of in terms of the long-term holder base and i think that when alt season does come and buyers are making their way back into crow the fact that over a third of the supply is not available on the buying and selling market could definitely mean some very interesting things for this altcoin 
Now, before we get into the burns and the price analysis, I do want to bring you guys a quick word from this video sponsor. This video is brought to you by the Loaf token. Now, Loaf is not a project that I am currently invested in, but I have been speaking with uh, with the team here on Twitter, and I've been checking out what they got going on. There is a lot of interesting stuff. So you can see here that they are officially launched. Their game is officially live on their website over here. And to kind of kick this off, they are starting it with a large loaf uh, reward pool. So at the end of each season for the game, the loaf allocated will be based on the formula, your toast points divided by the total toast points from all users uh, in terms of the total prize pool. So for example, if the total prize pool is 100 loaf and you have 10 toast points, you will receive 10 loaf at the end of the season. And if you hold an average of 10,000 or more loaf, they are giving you a 1.1 X multiplier. So we can see here a bit more of a breakdown on exactly how this works and here's a little bit of a gif of what their game has and i will show it to you in just a second so each player starts with five toasters each toaster runs for 60 seconds during which you can toast as much as you can earning 0.1 toast points per toast once your five toasters are up there is a cooldown each uh each toaster refills in an hour and you can return every hour to use a refill toaster or 60 seconds or wait five hours to use all of them for 300 seconds if you don't want to wait you can buy additional toasters with the loaf tokens 10 per extra toaster and this way you can keep earning without pause and the tokens go into the prize pool increasing the overall season's rewards so here is the actual website right here and you actually don't don't even have to have the, the toast token to actually go ahead and play you can simply just go ahead and practice right here like i am and the challenge is to essentially see how much toast you can actually generate within the given time limit uh, additionally it is worth noting that crypto.com did just release support for this project with target price orders in the main app so what i'm going to go ahead and do is leave a link in the description down below to their website where you can check out the game and all of the information for the loaf token yourself and once again thank you to the loaf team for sponsoring this video now getting back into what we were talking about earlier with the chronos pos chain and the significance of passing that 10 billion milestone uh something i would really like to see and i don't think it'll happen in time for all season unfortunately but you know if we could even get this up to like 12 and a half billion staked and then that means almost half of the circulating supply um is essentially here locked up on the chronos pos chain i think that when alt season does take off when buyers come back on the market obviously there will be less crow coin available for buying and selling and if there are more buyers than sellers then this could definitely mean some very interesting things for the price action and the price action definitely has been lagging here uh crow has not even come close to recovering and making its way back up to those previous highs however if you are not yet in crow or if you have been averaging down this whole time you know especially throughout the bear market at the five cent level you should still be in a pretty good position when it comes to this project and uh, additionally you know it's worth noting that the five cent level uh, was the bottom for the bear market so far but prior to that five cent level of support 10 cents for a long time was the big area of support for this coin and it's definitely one that i have been keeping my eye on the most you know once we broke out of that range between five and ten cents unfortunately we are now back in that range but uh 10 cents here right if we take a look at the chart uh, let me just get back there let me put on a log scale to make it a bit clearer yeah so i have it here in the orange line just to make it a little more clear for you guys i mean you can just see if we actually go ahead and remove the bull market support band um yeah you can just see how many times 10 cents has been super important for the price action okay it acted as support over here before this thing blasted off to those all-time highs it acted as support here throughout the original capitulation phase in the bear market and then it broke down with the collapse of ftx as people were you know saying crypto.com might be next to go bankrupt obviously did not end up being true and i said back then that i think this entire sell-off was not warranted 
Now here it acted as resistance on that initial run up. However, it popped bouncing off of the bull market support band getting back above it. So we can see that clearly 10 cents is an important area on the charts when it does come to this altcoin. And that's definitely what I'm looking for here. And if it can build a strong base at this level, if the amount of crow coin being staked goes up and as alt season does begin as I am expecting it to, uh, that is really what I'm looking for when it comes to this coin. So I'm not looking for anything, you know, this week, this month. I just think that when alt season does start to take off, that if this coin is still at these levels here, that, um, you know, it's definitely one that I will be keeping my eye on here for a strong bounce. Now, while we are on the topic of supply and demand of buying and selling markets, I do want to talk about the upcoming Crow Coin burn, the second 50 million burn that is set to take place, which would mean that 100 million Crow will be burned from the supply permanently. So the initial burn proposal was made last year. The first burn, I believe, happened late last year. And effectively, what happens is a portion of the Crow from the Kronos POS chain and Instead of actually being handed out to delegators is instead being put in a community pool wallet now you can see here that from this wallet 50 mil has already been burned yeah it was on december 17th and there is now 65 million crow waiting to be burned as they are basically looking for the vote to pass so in any scenario i do think that burns are bullish for an altcoin I mean, the one thing that is worth mentioning, obviously, is the fact that, you know, with a 30 billion total supply, I don't think 100 mil is a significant enough amount. And I think more than anything, this just shows you that the Kronos team is aware of the fact that they should be burning off some tokens. I would like to see some bigger burns in the future. The obvious comparison that I make, the most, uh, I think the, the the cleanest comparison that I like to make is the BNB token. I mean, there's these are both native tokens of their respective exchanges, as well as their native blockchains. And BNB has a total supply of 147.5 mil, and they're looking to reduce that down to 100 million. I think if BNB can have a supply at 150 mil on their way down to 100 mil, according to their plans. I really think that that crow can also do with a ton of burning. I don't think there needs to be 30 billion tokens. And I do think that definitely could be a reason that this altcoin has been a laggard ever since the bear market ended. Now to wrap things up, I do want to talk about the price action here. We did touch upon it briefly. But really, what I want to mention is the fact that we are now below this 10 cent level, okay? And this 10 cent level, I mean, you know, when we were in the 5 cent range, that was the zone. But now 10 cents is the key area that I am really looking for when it comes to this coin. As mentioned previously, tons of price action at this level that does lead to pretty strong moves, right? I mean, the bounce as support here in in june and july of 2021 led to that massive run-up and the breakdown here led to about a year's period where crow was stuck at five cents so i think that any any move above or below 10 cents is significant and what i am looking for here is, is pretty much one of two things so if we actually zoom in on a shorter time frame let's go take a look at a one-year time frame um this this level right here is pretty significant at about the the seven cents area give or take let's even call it eight cents okay uh, eight and a half cents where you know we did see a lot of support and resistance for this project we saw that bounce off the bull market support band and boom we saw this thing rip 138 percent now if we go back to november of last year we saw crow make a 140 percent move kind of fade off here and pull back bounce off the bull market support band make a second 140 percent move almost and boom fade off back down to the bull market support band unfortunately this time though uh crow actually broke below the bull market support band it broke below the 10 cent area of support and it's not the only altcoin that's done this okay in fact if we take a look at render this is another project here that i do speak about on the channel quite frequently this made a very similar move where it broke below the bull market support band and below a key area of support and i'm sure there are plenty of other altcoins that do look like this so i'm not really in a rush right now to buy more crow i'm simply saying it's something on my watch list and it's definitely something that um you know, I think it can go one of two ways. I, I, I want to give you guys both scenarios just so you are kind of having both in mind. And the first one here is if we do not see that bounce, okay? If we don't see Crowcoin get back above 10 cents, I would not be shocked to see it pull back to that eight, eight and a half cent area of support here in this range. 
and anything below that honestly i would be looking back at the bear market lows of five cents however if this coin does get back above 10 cents the next key area i would be looking at is 12 and a half cents and that is basically the last area that this coin got rejected at before it capitulated there and dropped over 50 percent basically within a week down to that five cent zone but i want to know what you guys think about crow coin so let me know in the comments down below i hope you all enjoyed the content in today's video i hope you are all staying happy safe and healthy and i hope to catch you in the next one peace out for now